Jay, you know, good evening there. You know, we're here at Princess Margaret uh, Secondary School right now, watching some junior girls, you know, volleyball games. My name's Chase Mayer. This is my good friend Jay Deep Dollywall, and we are going to be announcing here today. So you want anything, you got anything to say to the camera before we start here, Jack? I think the first half is now over. The first half is now over with Maggie in the lead, 25 to 17. Oh, looks like it's been a very interesting game so far. Yeah, because it looks like it's halftime right now. So the teams are swapping up. Halftime, Maggie has now won the first half. Yeah. Well, Maggie sustained a pretty decent lead compared to SOSS right now. Who, who do you feel is actually going to uh, take the crown here? Well, right now it's anyone's game. They could still win, still win the second half, but mm. oh, Maggie's been in the lead for quite a while now. Yeah. Although and SOSS, otherwise known as the Hornets, they are always open to have a very major comeback. So, you know. Well, only the second half will tell if they can final if they can beat Maggie. Who knows, man? It's all up in the arm, or up in the air now, huh? So, uh, do you have any previous experiences of volleyball? You good, sir? I used to play on the middle school team. Um, it was pretty fun back in the day, but it's nothing as serious as this. This is now high school level. Yeah, high school stakes, way higher than middle school. I'll give you that one. Real excitement is really high. Tensions are also as high. Real exciting it's, there. It's kind of how you say your school's honor is kind of on the line right now. Because you ah. burst the other schools. No. Fortunately, I don't pick sides here. I don't look for, you know, look to see who's winning. Okay, just put your microphone down there. We're on the air. Looks like the uh, team coaches here are just giving a pep talk to all their teams there. Yeah. You ever wonder what they're talking about there? Well, I would think the Hornets would be talking about maybe changing some strategy right now as they would want to win the second half to tie up the game. Yeah. And drag I, it into overtime. I see that. Like, I guess they got to keep their, Maggie's got to keep their game strong in order to, you know, endure, I gotta say. Be real exciting to see how this turns out, huh? Mm-hmm. Gotta say, my own personal experience with volleyball, not a whole lot. You know, played a bit in PE in school. Other than that, I didn't do a lot. A good thing there wasn't much of a story because it looks like we're getting underway. Well, you don't still you don't need to know a lot, but it's still a very exciting game to watch. Undeniably there, Jag. Now the teams walk onto the courts as the second half now begins. I have to ask, do you know who's getting first serve there, Jag? All right. Seems Maggie has got the first serve. Yes. With number 20, 21, Harleen, going for the serve. Looks like Maggie's starting off with a point there. Maggie kicks off the game 1-0. And Harleen is back with a second serve. <laughs> it looks like Maggie once again. It looks like Harleen's back again for the third serve. Let's see if she can keep this streak going. Looks like third, I wonder third. if the third time is going to be the charm for the Hornets. Ooh, very close. Yeah. Looks like that was a quite that was quite a close one there. Once again. It was quite a close one. The Hornets gave it their all, but it they were not It seems to be a reserve, actually. Ooh. Oh, but it seems the coach has called it in. Yeah. Looks like third time isn't the charm for the Hornets. I'm sorry, the ref has called it in. Yes. Mistakes happen there, Jag. 
Ooh. But that one is undeniably out as their streak has now ended. But still putting Maggie in the lead, 3-1. Yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see if Maggie will maintain this lead when they're not in the serving position there, Jag. We'll see. Oh. Looks like the Hornets went a little short on that serve. Hornets have now lost their serve, and now the ball goes to number 11 on Maggie's yes. side. Seems to be Miss Alice. Looks like the Hornets have scored another point. Uh, oh, it, ooh, a dangerous looks like there's some pretty nice combo. back and forth going around here. And it looks like Maggie just dropped the ball. And it seems that the Hornets are making a pretty decent comeback as well. The game is now getting very close, 4-3. It's still the start of the game. It could be anyone's win right now. Anything can happen. And the game seems to be tied right now. 4-4. Whose game is it going to be? Nobody knows. Dangerous three hit combo since it's right over the net. And they made it over. Oh, and Mag it looks like the Hornets have taken the lead, 5-4. Maggie gave it their all, but Hornets gave it one more. Yeah. And once again, the game seemed to be tied up. Just say, this could be a very close game there, Jag. Very close. You know, hoping this is an exciting game, not only here, but at home as well. The Hornets are back in the lead. The score is now 6-5. And now they're going in for the serve. Let's see that what they can do. Oh. So that was a nice serve on their side. The game right now is 7-5 for the Hornets. You know, it's very interesting to see if Maggie will also make a comeback here. That's one more point for the Hornets, making the gap even larger. It's a very close game, or it's a very close round there. Here goes the Hornets with the serve. And it's out. Wow. Hornets are maintaining a very solid lead, the Maggie Mustangs, right now. It is now 9 5. They're now four points ahead of Maggie. Yeah. It is still anyone's game out there. But the Hornets do have a, a semi-solid lead. Which reminds me of what Maggie was doing last game. You know, maintaining a very solid lead to the other team. The Hornets have now entered double digits while Maggie still lags behind five points. Yeah, it's 10-5 right now. And they nearly had it, Jag. Maggie nearly had it, but the Hornets got it. And now there is now a timeout. Yeah. The current score is 11-5. They're leading by six points. You know, looks like Maggie hit a lot of uh, near close calls there. It's been a very interesting back and forth for them, huh? It's been very interesting so far. It's yeah. gonna be fun to see what Maggie can do after yeah. this timeout. I mean, when it comes down to round three, I think it'll really be an interesting game. 
I mean, not that it wasn't already, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I would think Maggie would be changing their play style right now. As Maybe I don't, switching up some of the players. I would not think they want to drag this into a third set. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to know, if, or wouldn't want them to maintain that large of a lead if, you were, if I was in Maggie's position at least. And it looks like we're back. Nearly coming up there. Looks like the camera's been on us. All right, everyone is on the court, and the game is once again underway with Hornets serving the ball. You know, we neglected to notice the camera was on us for the past two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's just what the game does to you, huh, Jag? Gets you so excited, riled up, you know, can't even focus. Volleyball is a very exciting game to watch. Very fun. Wow, that was a very nice bump on the side of Maggie. And it looks like Maggie gets the point. Maggie is now finally back in the, back with a point. Yeah, Maggie's back in the game, although they're gonna have to catch up by six points to catch up to OSSS. I gotta say, that was a very good hit from Maggie. Yeah. It just went slightly over the net, but it went just low enough that they could not return it. Here we go, Maggie serves back. Oh, and that's another point for Maggie. Could this be the comeback they needed to this take home this comeback. game? It seems Maggie is now trying their hardest to bridge the gap that has been formed. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep this up. And that looks like Ooh. another point. Very close from the Hornets, but it yeah. just didn't go over. Looks like the Hornets are getting a lot of very uh, close calls there. We still have number 12, Montana Smith, serving hard for Maggie. Looks like that was a short serve there. Still seems like Maggie's doing a pretty effective job at bridging the gap between them and the Hornets. Maggie has lost the serve, but they're slowly bridging their way back. And once again, Maggie goes back and regains the serve. Actually, oh. no, that was a point to the Hornets there, Jag. You got to stay in the game there, man. Getting distracted right now. The Hornets are still in the lead, 14 to 8. Just That's went out for the on Hornets the there. We just got a ball that whizzed right past our heads, Jag. Yep, could have taken out our heads. We got number seven from Maggie, Carly DeCock, going for the serve. Ooh, just uh, over the net. That was a close call there. Close call for Maggie. Like the Hornets are getting a little bit of coaching here. Seems so. Oh. Once again, a very short serve. But nonetheless, Maggie is slowly making their way back. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep this up for the rest of the game. Both teams have once again called a timeout to discuss new strategy. Again, it looks like it does look like a timeout here. It seems that Maggie is doing a pretty effective job at bridging their gap, but they still could not maintain a lead. Yeah. Just say, do you, do, you, do you believe that Maggie will actually be able to make the comeback here? They're only four points now, 
And now behind, as you can see, they might be able to make a comeback. It's still anyone's game. There's yeah. still 10 points till SOSS can win. Yeah. The Hornets might be able to take this or this round home. Well, well, Chase, if they do manage to do that, they'll drag this game into the third set, into an overtime set. Yeah. I gotta say, for them, do you believe it's gonna win right now here, Jag? Well, right now it's still anyone's game, but the Hornets are in the lead. Yeah. So this could be their set. Yeah. You can believe that Maggie might be able to make a strong comeback here. Well, it seems Maggie is getting a pep talk and maybe a new strategy devised. So maybe they can pull it back. Looks like this will be an interesting game for sure. And it looks like they're getting back on the court here. Players are once again setting up on the court. We got number eight, Isabella Biggs, with serve. Very nice serve there. Oh, and battle for like the ball, Maggie but it secured another Maggie point for home. Very nice play on Asuius's part. I believe it's Asuius, is it not? OSS. Asuius. I believe I've made a mistake there. I apologize for all those people at home. We are sorry. Anyways, it looks like the game is back underway right now. The ball going to the Hornets. Ooh, just by a little bit there. It was not able to go over the a net. A couple inches up, probably would have made it. Substitutions are now underway. Looks like we're getting a bit of a switch up here. We've got a bit of a switch up. We have number 21, Harleen, back on the serve for Maggie. It seems the Hornets coach is getting kind of frustrated. He's, he's giving more coaching, it seems, on game. Well, even though they're able to maintain a solid lead, we're interested to see if they can keep this up. been a surprising game so far at least. Maggie's really made one great comeback. It's been very surprising to say the least with only three points ahead. Yeah. Can SOSS keep the lead? Or can or will Maggie take the home the crown? It'll be really interesting to see there. Gotta, it looks like they're getting real excited. Everything's riled up. Tensions are high. Players are back on the court. Will they do it? Very close fall for Maggie. It landed was right it. on line. This is a great spike on the side of Maggie here. Great spike for Maggie. The Hornets did try to go for it, but they were just not able to get there in time. Once again, we have number 21, Harleen, going for the serve. It's a great serve on Maggie. And the game seems to be tied once again. With another point for Maggie. Maggie's made one heck of a comeback here. It's a really... What a comeback. It looks like Maggie's in the lead once again. Maggie's now in the lead, 17 to 16. But it was by only about 10 minutes ago that they were about five or six points down. They're now one point ahead, but only by one point, Chase. If this I is mean, still that's anyone's fair. game. Could be anybody's game. And the 
the game is tied once again. With the Hornets securing another point, the game now lands at 17-17. And it looks like the Hornets have taken the lead once again. Really, the winner right now is up in the air. Although the Hornets seem to have snagged another point for home. Yeah. Looks like uh, the gap between Maggie and the Hornets is trying to stay very consistent right now. Mainly a uh, one to two very, point gap here. It's staying very consistent. Both teams are trying to cement their way to victory, but Looks like the Hornets have have a very are having a very consistent lead. And we're tied once again. With only 6 points left to go and both teams tied up. Getting awfully close. I got to say this has been a pretty decent back and forth between the two teams right now there, Jag. Still mm. Hornets are able to snag one more point, making yeah. the score 2019. Mm. It's very possible that the Hornets are going to take this home, huh? This could be Hornets set. This could be the game the Hornets need to take this into ground three. But wait. Score is once again now tied. It is now 2020. Yeah, I guess I'm calling my shots too soon there, Jag. And Maggie once again takes the lead. It's a very close game and a very exciting one at that. This is a very close game. Yeah. Tensions are high right now. Victor could be anybody right now. And it looks like another point for Maggie. Could they do this? Great serve on Maggie, once again. Ooh, great spike, went right between two players. Maggie is once again, you know, having a larger and larger lead compared to OSS. It's very possible that they're gonna take this one home. This could be Maggie's set. And the Hornets have scored once again another point. You know, having the game right now 23-21 on the side of Maggie. Maggie is still in the lead, but the Hornets may still be able to come back from this. And looks like Maggie is 24 points right now. This could be the win that they really need. Some good back and forth going on right there between the two sides. And Maggie, and Maggie once again scores a point. Maggie has won the second set and has taken the game home. Yeah. You know, the great effort on both sides there, Jag. It was all good. Both teams tried their hardest. Everyone played to their fullest. It's a very impressive comeback on Maggie's side, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would. Yeah. The Hornets did seem like they were going to win, but... Yeah. Looks like Maggie just made a solid comeback here. We're interested to see if they can perform well in their other games. Yeah. Looks like uh, the teams are once again exchanging good, good words, good deeds. No. Both teams playing incredibly well right now. Incredibly well. At the end of the day, it's just a game. Sportsmanship is what always shines through. It's what defines you. 
It's a great spectator sport as well, got to say. You know. Don't have much else to say right now. Impressive game on it's both sides. Very good game from Maggie. You know. With very the a lot of back may, to it, forth. It may have ended up as a 2-0, but there were some great back and forths here. Great back and forths. Okay, we're off. Ooh. Is the game over? Like is it like a world? Uh,